Hello, greetings, welcome everybody to usually, another one. Usually you say greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Yeah. So for those Hello. of you who did not join us yesterday, welcome. We are using a brand new service called Restream. And this allows us to go live on both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Yes. But rules still apply the same um, for for go for questions so today we are making a card project and if you're watching on youtube or facebook sean is at the control center make sure you ask um for your questions are in caps so that way he sees it and everything so we'll give everyone a few seconds to mm -hmm. join um let me explain the links down below i do have all of the links for the product down below I do have coupons for a lot of the companies that we will be working with tonight. Our main company we're focusing on is Pink and Main, and mm -hmm. um, we'll dive into that here in one sec. But the first part is Pink and Main's main shopping. Then there will be supplies for all of the products I used in the card. And then at the end is all of the products I'm going to be showing from Pink and Main. And the reason I'm doing this is, is so that way the supplier list isn't too overwhelming but that way um you guys can easily find it so also pink and main has given us a discount code which is ken10 and i have all my other coupon codes down there so that way if you guys are looking at supplies and want to use those by using those links it helps support our channel which we thank everyone because thank this will be um this will help us all in the long run because Sean only has two more days of work left. Dose. 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 So as people are joining, Me. say hi. There is probably Hello. a slight delay, so just keep that in mind. Um, but let's talk about what's happening this weekend. Mm. So this weekend over on YouTube and on my uh, Chalk Couture Facebook page, we're going to be doing a Lots of Love auction. It will be this Sunday um april 7th it starts at 9 a.m goes to 9 p.m more details to come on that but we'll be auctioning off a ton of different stuff and both of us will be chalking live and next week starting on monday not only is that sean's first job with us which is really our first day on the job with me and jazzy um but it is also the start of our kickoff. So thanks to all of you, we reached 100,000 YouTube subscribers. We are giving away a ton of stuff. One of them is also from Pink and Main that we will be doing a giveaway. Uh, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and signed up for alerts because we will be going live every day, sometimes multiple times during the day and telling you how you can enter and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, very exciting. All right, guys. So today we are making a card and we are doing a quick unboxing. Um, we will go to the overhead camera. Once again, if you have questions, make sure they're in caps so Mr. Shawnee can see them. Yes, please. And we'll walk you through everything. So this is the card we're going to be making today. It is a magical card and it's just fun and tons of cuteness. And we'll show you a photo of it really quick. Look at that. So I'm super excited to show you how I made this card, but let's first dive in to all of the goodies that Michelle over at Pink and Main sent me. Now, Pink and Main, um, obviously, their theme is pink and main, meaning like a street. I'm super excited for them. I was on their Facebook page today, and they recently have opened a retail storefront, which is exciting. Now, one thing I love about Pink and Main is they actually give a certain portion of all of their um, uh, purchases to the uh, uh, MS Foundation. Oh, very nice. So, mus muscular dystrophy. MS is multiple sclerosis. Oh, though I, I'm wrong then. Then uh, I apologize. Multiple, multiple dis uh, muscular dystrophy. That's... Why can't I say that word? I can look. Mul mul muscular dis dystrophy. So, MD. MD, sorry. Muscular Not that's... MS. Apologize. Yeah. So definitely, we got to meet her officially at Creativation. She's amazing. Her booth was amazing. I just have a blast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to quickly show you kind of what she sent us, and then we'll get started on the project. First of all, she sent these, which are awesome. These are stamp cleaners. They're uh, terry cloth, and it's really in there, of course, their color, and you can clean off your stamps really good, which is good because I use embossing ink a lot, and this works mm -hmm. really well. Nice. Um, I do have all the links, like I said, down below. They just released their cute little um, stamping blocks, which have a pink hue to them. So she has three different sizes, three and a half inch. They're half inch thick, two and a half inch, and um, one and three fourths inch. She has a ton of cardstock, six by six, which is my favorite size. 
because it is perfect for cards and there is just some amazing colors and fun this one here is the water color foil she has this one which is beach bum and they are double-sided and there's a ton of them she has halloween ones christmas just tons of fun stuff she also has glossy dots we're going to be using these on the cards um, she gave me some gold ones, there's some nice pink ones, and some heart ones, which are lots of fun, but there's more on the site. And of course, some stencils that we'll be using in another project. So I'm going to dive um, in really quick and just do a quick show. All of these have die sets, so, and her prices are really reasonable, guys. Now, some of them are sold out because it's a pretty popular company, but... Um, definitely sign up for their alerts. So this here is called the Sketched Easter. And look at how cute that is. Once again, I've given you all of the links of everything I'm showing you at the very bottom of the post. This is called, this is probably one of my favorites. This is called the Breakfast Fun Die. Mm, croissant. This one here is B-Day. Like B-Day, get it? It's like a word play. Mm -hmm. Like it's a B day mm -hmm. happy bead day happy you get it son are you so. with me i got it <laughs> <laughs> all right party balloons die or party balloon stamp set and die and her dies are pink and they're their uh signature color this is one of my favorite one happy camper dies it's just really cute look at this with all of the cuteness of trailers and stuff um this one is called wild thing and i cannot wait to use this stamp and color it look at it wild thing look at that and they all have great sentiments these are probably one of my favorite part of the collection she sent me i love stamps that have dies that not only have the dies but have the outline of the dies and we'll actually be using one of these today there's also one called celebrate this is my all-time favorite. I almost did a project with this, but I, I changed it last minute. But this one is just called Lumber, or Timber, excuse me. Timber, and look at this. Perfect for masculine cards. Look at how great that is. Um, this is a big trend right now. This is the Pretty Jars dies, where you have the jars, and then you have the part to open it, but you have flowers you can put in. You have a heart chain around it, so very cool. Multiple usage. This one I love because my favorite movie of all time is The Greatest Showman, and this is a perfect stamp set for it, if you are a fan of that. And the last one, too, here is uh, this one, which is Happy Couple, or The Perfect Couple, excuse me. How fun would that be to color? Mm. Look at that. Look at that. I think it bears. And then the last one here is called Sweet carousel um, she also sent me some cool dies uh this die here is extra large bow die so this will actually make it to where you can make uh bows for packages or cards this is pull and flip dies which is literally you pull it and things flip and wow. this one she has a spring wreath um, and these are just add-ons for this wreath so now, in addition to this, she also has ink. And if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know who Brutus Monroe is. And her ink is developed by Brutus Monroe. So it's the surface inks. And they come in a wide variety of colors. We have asphalt, stop sign, salon, rose garden, construction, and um, barbershop. And what I love about these inks, not only the color, but the names, she has really thought through her theming because she's pink and mean and all of her colors are named after like, you know, barbershop and rose garden and stuff that you would find on a street. So very cool. All right, guys. So that is everything that we're going to show you that she had sent me. And now let's get dived right into the card. So the product we're going to be using for this from Pink and Main is we're going to be using the um, Sweet Bouquets stamp set. Now, when I did this card project, I did not realize this, this stamp was out of stock. So I do apologize. Just make sure you're set up for alerts. It does have a die set. It's got two beautiful flower bouquets. We'll probably do this one since we did this one on the other card. We'll also be using the magical stamp set and the magical die. And then the stitched uh, rectangle here. The colors we're using from her collection is Riverwalk, Street Sign, The Park, 
and skyscraper. Now, the reason I have little washi tape on them, um, and I've given this feedback to Mr. Christopher Allen, his lids, even on his, do not stay on very good. Um, it's the one thing I don't like about the ink, so if you put them in somewhere, they're, they're okay, but they tend to fall off on me, so that's just something I do. Maybe you have better luck with yours. Maybe I'm just too rough with my inks. That would be the first time I've heard that. Yeah. And as I go through the rest of the stuff, you guys, absolutely, I will try to remember um, to tell you where I got stuff. But once again, the links are all down below. So you can always see the links. All right. So we're going to start with the base of the card. Now this is, and I forgot it last time on the link, but it's down there now. This is probably my favorite paper trimmer, not because of the blade. Um, this blade's pretty standard compared to the others. This is made for a card lover because on this, there is a tiny little dotted line right there at four and a quarter and five and a half. And if any of you guys know me, you know that a two size card is my favorite size of card to work with. And what makes this nice is there's these little squares right here. Um, and that gives you basically a quarter of an inch all the way down. So for to make offsets and stuff, it's great. It was Fun Stamper's Journey. They are now through Spellbinder. So you can still buy this, even though Fun Stamper's Journey has kind of changed the way they operate. And I just, I love it. So for example, I want this card to have an offset, kind of like we have here. So this would normally be an A2 size, which is five and a half. But I'm going to bring it down from the dotted line to the first square. So up close, if you see this dotted line there, let me go up to the top at five and a half. I'm just bringing it down a quarter of an inch and it gives me that perfect little offset. That's why I love this trimmer. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the four and a quarter. We'll be at four and a quarter and then down a quarter of an inch. And then we can save this stuff for our card in just a sec. For a rainy day. For a rainy Which day. Is, it's been doing that all day here. Yes. Actually, right. we'll be using it um, even sooner than that, Sean. Because mm. we'll be using that to do stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to, my backing on this is the black. Can you go get me a base card? Um, the black Gina K. This is her black onyx. I love this cardstock. It's a hundred pound cardstock. This stuff is amazing. It's my go-to black cardstock. And we are going to be doing that at the typical A2 size. So that's going to be at that dotted line here. So five and a half. Thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. At four and a quarter. And then I just buy these cards. These are a whole bunch of cards you can get at Michael's when they do their bonus buys, like 70% off. And then they give you like a 20% off coupon. So you can get a whole bunch and they line up perfect. Does the trimmer have an extension for measurements for larger oh, paper? Oh my goodness, it must. You flip the back and... I never use it because I am, you guys know, an A2 size, but yeah, you flip the back. It also has a place for you to hold your blades down here, but I don't hold them down there. And then it goes all the way to 12 inches this way. It goes two inches on this side. And then of course, 12 inches here. And then it also um, has little supports down here. And it, you can get refills at Spellbinder. So there's the green is the cutter, and then they have an orange one that's the score tool. Yee. So yeah. Jennifer's under a tornado watch. Oh gosh, Jennifer, be careful. Be careful. That's scary. Yes. Very much so. All right. So I'm just grabbing. This is just Arteza watercolor. Um, we're just using this to do our coloring on. Okay. So we're going to start on our background. So this is Bristol cardstock. This is my favorite cardstock to use to blend colors on and to do coloring on in general. And we're gonna do our background. So yeah. do you have a link to the cutter? Somebody was just I happy. do. It's down below, down and below. it'll say card supplies. There you and go. it'll take you to Spellbinder where that's at. Okay. So we're gonna be using these four colors, and we're gonna be blending. And if you've never used um, these, these are a Ranger product. They are just a, a great blending tool. And I keep my little blending pads that go on it. So that way I'm not wasting these. They're super, these are cheap. These are a little bit more expensive, but they last forever. And then I just replace the foam pads. Normally I do store the foam pads under here, but these aren't unfortunately yeah, deep enough. Deep, yeah. So, but that's okay. Um, I do recommend having 
either some wet wipes or that pink cloth I had. I don't oh, know what happened to those pink, pink cloths. cloths. I threw them back in the, in oh, the okay. mall. Just to clean off your fingers in between this because you will get little finger. So I just tap this in the ink and Sean can zoom in a little bit here. Sure can. And we're just going to do circle motions. Can you go up just a hair? There you go, thanks. And we're just going to keep doing that until we get a nice flooded color. So we're just going to do this yellow. And sometimes I dot it like this. Um, surface inks are nice because they're permanent when they're set, but you can also like watercolor with them and they're water reactive. So there's a lot you can do with them. Okay, so I am going to peel this off and just put that off site because we are going to be using that here shortly. We're going to grab the green color and yes. dab it. That is some bright green. Yes, and I think Look. that one's named the park. Uh -huh. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to put some color down, do some circle motions here. And then we'll blend it up here in one sec. So once we have it like this, put a little bit more color on here. And then instead of doing circles, you're just going to blend it up into the yellow like so. And we're going to do the same with the yellow. Do somebody is asking, do we have a, an idea when we'll do viewer mail? Um, I just found it all. Jasmine kind of hit it on me. <laughs> Gotta love her. <laughs> Um, I found it with a lot of this pink and main stuff. So probably this week, probably, actually probably tomorrow. Ooh. Maybe tomorrow. So yeah. I have boxes and envelopes and everything. Linda from YouTube says, have you tried the new blender brushes? The new blender brushes. Can you tell me what the blender brushes are? And then Lori is asking almost the same thing. Have you tried the makeup brushes for blending? Yes, I love the makeup brushes for blending. Yeah. I just need to go buy some. Um, and then, of course, I have the stencil brushes, but I don't know the other brushes that the blender yeah. brushes, unless she's talking about the makeup, which people are using just bent blending, regular makeup blending brushes, and they work great. Did you do it, Ken, from the car today? I did not. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So today kind of got away from me because we in may have a ton of traveling and i had to finalize all of my plane tickets and um, hotel. hotel stays so the day kind of got away and jasmine's on vacation so usually she can help a lot with stuff but she's where it's nice and sunny she is she's in tijuana is she farther down though or just tijuana oh maybe not maybe she is now yeah. i know she started in tijuana yeah. That's where they pick up her sister. Yeah, so. Yeah, they are somewhere where there's sun and surf. It looks so nice. It is, it looks beautiful for those of you mm -hmm. who follow her. All right, the last color we're gonna use is this beautiful color, and I think this is called Riverwalk. And we're gonna blend that with, on the bottom here. And sometimes when you dab it like this, you'll get a, a much brighter color. Just be careful because you can get some harsh marks that you you possibly don't want. All right. So once we have this background kind of where we like it, we can finish up our blending between those two colors with the blue going up into the green. And then that nice green color which is called Park, I think, going down into the blue. So it almost gives you a nice ombre look to it. And you can kind of go back and forth between the colors. You just want to be careful with your um, fingers because you can get it in like the yellow and green. Oh, sorry, that was a dog bone I kicked. Okay, so we're gonna put these away for right now. And the next thing we're going to concentrate on on this background is that really cool silver reflection or sparkle reflection you saw. So on this card, cards. so there is this kind of sparkle and if it hits the light just right, you'll see it kind of sparkle. There it goes. And this is a product that actually made me fall in love with Fun Stamper's Journey originally, um, and it's called Sparkle Silk, and you can still get it. It's on Spellbinder's website. Looks like a little nail polish, 
And what we're gonna do um, is you just take it, you shake it up, you can hear the activation, let me. And we are going to just flick it on there. You just tap it and just like that. If you are more of a control freak like I tend to be, you can take, it looks just like a um, nail polish and then you can just kind of dab it wherever you want. Mm -hmm. The more you use, of course, the more it's going to <clears throat> give you in sparkles. You can do further away and a quicker tap will be and closer will give you those nice close sparkles. So, mm -hmm. uh, Linda from YouTube says the uh, they're called life changing blender brushes by Picket Fence. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll have to get some. Mm -hmm. <gasps> San Diego. I love San Diego. You do? That's uh, one of my shocker. Most, one of I my know, Sean. favorite cities. It is. Okay, guys. So here we can show you what this looks like. Now this does. You can take a heating tool and dry it. I don't like to because I like to let it air dry because it gives you more of that natural dewy look. Where if you take a hair dryer, it can kind of smush it down. But you can already see that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. So we're gonna put this off to our side while we now get to color. Color, 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 color. All right, so since I did the other one, let's do the other flower. We did this one. So this is her sweet bouquets, and it is super duper fun. Super um, duper. I'm writing Sean a love note. Okay. For the end. Okay. So we're going to be, we did this one, which is this card here and that right there. Just randomly too. Okay. And just write them down for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. And we are going to, I am a big fan of um, doing this in embossing powder because then for coloring wise it gives you this really nice barrier especially since i'm using watercolors to where it won't you know commingle i don't want my ink to commingle sean all right so this i'm going to tell you right now i'm going to tell you right now peeps this stamping tool is going away this is the tonic tim holt stamp platform just like i need to drink water agua well Colored agua. And it is being discontinued just in the United States. Um, and so if you want it, which it's my favorite stamping tool, I would get it now. Uh, I do have the links down below. Once they are no longer in the United States, I'll probably go back to using a different company or brands. Um, so I'm kind of sad about it, but I get it. They infringed on someone else's uh, product. And that is why we have patent laws. All right, so anytime you use embossing uh, ink or embossing powder, I should say, uh, you wanna get rid of the static on your paper. So I use this, this is just the Inka Dika Doo Embossing Buddy. They also have other brands that are, they look like a pen and you push it down, I think. Um, so there's other brands, there's, this isn't the, the only brand. So find the one that works for you and be happy. Now I've not used this stamp, brand new. So this is Brutus Monroe's embossing ink. So we're gonna ink this um, probably twice because the first time is what's kind of called conditioning your stamp. Um, and all conditioning your stamp means is you're getting that ink on there so it gives you a good first transfer because the first transfer of ink on a stamp is not very good, Sean. It is not. No. And you can see it. I mean, if you hold your paper at a, a slight angle, you will see that it's got a, 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 let me see if you guys can see that. Okay, just keep tilting it, keep tilting it. Maybe. There, there it is. There it is. So you can see it. So I always tell people, look at it. It will let you know right away if you miss a spot because once you put powder on it, that's game over. You don't need to condition it with an eraser, Megan asks on Facebook. I don't uh, condition it with an eraser. I just stamp it once. 
and that conditions it for me. Never, but never heard of that. Um, I have, but I had someone tell me one time, like, "Oh, you just have to stamp it. You don't really need to do the whole eraser thing." And then mm -hmm. I was like, "I wasn't stamping a lot then, so I didn't know." Um, but yeah, okay. So Jennifer from YouTube says, "Ken, I wish my card work was just as beautiful as yours." What? Jennifer said from YouTube, she says, Ken, I wish my card work was as beautiful as yours. It didn't used to be nice, let me tell you. <laughs> so I will give you a little tip that worked for me. So try product because I used to hate coloring. If you look at my blog and go way far back, which I don't recommend doing because there's some embarrassing cards on there. Man, there was one time my best friend Allie reached out to me after I did a card and she's like, wow, you've come a long way. And then she showed me one of my first cards. She was like, that looks like a little kindergartner made it. <laughs> I was like, don't judge me. Um, don't judge. But I will tell you, you have to find the product that works for you. Mm -hmm. I do not like alcohol markers. I hate them actually. I cannot, I tried working with them. It's just not my jam. Um, and so once I found the Zig Real Brush markers or the Arteza, it was life changing. And then mm -hmm. once I found something I liked, I obviously started utilizing it. Yeah. Okay, so Mike. if you've never done embossing powder, it goes on kind of a dull powder. Dull, dull. dull and dull. you're gonna heat it up. This is my favorite heating tool, guys. This is the Wagner. It's only $18. This thing is life changing. Yep. So Michael Loves Crafts from YouTube says, Yeah, we were just, I was just talking to Christopher today about sending you some of our new embossing powders. He works for, uh, for, for uh, Christopher. Ooh, embossing. I love embossing powders. Yeah, we love them. Love them, love them, love them. Brutus Monroe updated their website because it looks different to me. I was looking at it today. Was that you, Michael? Did you do that? or? It looks different. So I don't know why they updated it. Maybe they had to, <laughs> but it looks different. Okay, guys. So I'm really picky on my embossing powders. And what I love about Brutus Monroe embossing powders is it's ultra fine. Which makes it... Very and it does nice. a really good job, especially on, here's the, the deal. Photopolymer stamps and embossing powders can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Good thing meaning like most stamps are photopolymer, but if you push too hard on your photopolymer stamp when you're using a stamping tool, your stamp is going to kind of go squish out, which means you're going to get more embossing powder. So it's going to look where you, you'll lose a little bit of the detail, where on a red rubber, you wouldn't lose that detail. So just keep that in mind when you're using a, a clear stamp to do like an emboss, I would just press it lightly. It's better to do multiple presses with embossing mm -hmm. ink versus pressing really hard to get that ink in there yep. because it will smush out on you. And you can kind of see where it smushed out a little bit on the bunch of the flowers down there. Um, and it will do that, which mm. is super sad. So Linda says from, um... Where is she? Uh, from YouTube, she says, yeah, I feel the same way about uh, watercolor markers. I am As... not good with Copics and stuff. Yeah. I've tried, like, my good friend Omar Toro from um, Awesome SVGs, mm -hmm. he is amazing with alcohol markers. I don't yeah. know how he does it. He's a brilliant at it. Mm -hmm. I try doing it, and it, I can't get him to blend. And I know paper has a lot to do with it, but mm -hmm. I just get frustrated. And the markers that I use, the Ziggs and Arteza... Like water brush markers, I love. Yeah. All right, so these are the dies we're gonna be using. They just, great. Now this is, I'm gonna be using the Anna Griffin Impress. I have to say, I was so, uh-oh. What happened? Good thing I caught that. I didn't get up spot. Uh oh. Oh, Christopher did the uh, website, by the way. Oh. He's the one that actually did it. Yes, you can tell, it's been updated. Yep. Okay, I have to put some more powder because I did not heat a certain spot and I flaked it off. Very sad. We wanted it a cleaner look. It is. It's much cleaner and it looks great. So he did a Kudos. great job. Let it's him know. definitely noticeable. Okay, cool. Have you tried the new alt new watercolor markers? No. Now I need to. Yeah. I love alt new. I just can't afford their stuff, but I love it. It's expensive stuff, but it's amazing stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so. They had a great, uh, great booth. They do. I love them. Um, I think I made one of their social media managers kind of upset one year. So they've never really worked with me. <laughs> and I didn't mean to make them upset, but I did. Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah. okay. Welcome, Renee. Glad you made it. 
All right, so I'm just making sure that this is centered as much as possible. My paper is a little bit warped, so it's trying to pull it off that magnet sheet. Um, and that's just because I heated the paper too close to my heating tool, but it'll be okay. So this is the Anim, uh, Griffin Impress. I have to say, uh, compared to like a cuddle bug, it is expensive, but it is far superior in my opinion. Yep, it's very nice. It is by far the best electronic die cutting machine I've used. Um, I've had issues with Gemini. I think it's user error. I don't think it's the error of the Gemini because I've seen people do amazing things with their Gemini. Oops, sorry Oops, guys, I apologize. Out. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I just can't get those results. So I'm doing something wrong, obviously. So there we go. Look at that. Ta -da. Ta -da. And the Anna Griffin fans love your impress review. I just love the impress. Yes, we love So thank you for the Anna Griffin fans, but the Anna, I have to tell you, um, I'm getting to know Anna Griffin more and more, and I am turning into a huge fan. Um, not that I wasn't a fan before. If you ever meet her in person, she is amazing. Yeah, she's, she's lovely, she's, she's super nice, lovely. and she has the best humor that I don't think a lot of people get to see. Yep. Because when you're on HSN and stuff like that, you can't you don't do that. You can't just go drop F bombs on HSN, Sean. No, you cannot. They probably would not invite you back. Hello from Southwest Washington. Lizzie, are you down in the... Lizzie? I love that. Name. Are you down in Walla Walla or are you down in Lewis and Clark? Walla Walla, Washington? I love Walla Walla. is great. Yep. They have so many wineries. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start coloring. Sean probably can zoom in pretty yep. close. There we go. I will tell you the colors I'm using in my process and then you'll just see me kind of repeat the process. So my process, I'm going to start with the... Um, the... Is, that, is that okay for you there? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start with this. This is actually fluorescent green. And anywhere I'm gonna basically put green, I'm going to use this color. And this, I'm going- I'm sorry, my fault. I'm going to flood fill this, and then we're gonna start our shading. Now this one has a lot more green to it than the other flowers, which is fine. It's just gonna take me a little longer to get these all filled. Um, but then we'll go in with the darker color. So we're just starting with this. And then you guys will see me. Once I start shading, I'll let you know. Can so. you use Cuddleblug dies and embossing folders with the impress? You know that answer. Yes, you can. We did in our review. Yes, we did. Uh, well, hello, Miss Gilbert Gar. Hello, how are you? How's Indiana doing? Oh, you're in, oh, Battleground just north of Vancouver. Oh, yeah, Battleground. I know where that's at. Oh, Southwest. I was thinking Southeast. Why? I'm sorry. Are you going to the... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Are they going to the Puyallup Scrapbook Expo? Because we are. We will be at the Puyallup one. Yes, yes, yes. We're not a featured person. They no. have Stephanie Bernard, which I've never met Stephanie, so I'm mm. excited. Sean's like, who's that? Sorry, Lizzie, I was thinking I got my East West wrong yet, but yes, you're right. Sean, a little <laughs> trick to that is never eat shredded wheat. Yes, I know. I know East West. Well, I'm just telling you, you messed up, so I'm trying to give you a little, a little <laughs> tip I learned in first grade. And if you remember, never eat shredded wheat. You are Lori, good to go. Lori says that we missed you when you were up there. We'll be up there again. So that's what, the last day of May and 1st June? Yeah, it's first. It's the last day of May and... and first and, day of June. Mm -hmm. So May 31st, June 1st. We'll be in Puyallup. Sean didn't get to go last year. He was super sad. And for those who do not work, know where Puyallup is, it is south of Seattle. Um, it is where the state fair is held. My sister lives in in Tacoma, so it's near that area. So if you know the yes. Tacoma region, that's near there. Okay, so I am now taking the darkest green that I'm using, which this color is deep green, and I'm just adding a little bit towards yeah. the base of the cards. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking my medium color, which this is light green, and bringing it. So this is the name of the brush for you guys. Yeah. Now I've given you two links. There is a Zig Real Brush and then there's Arteza. In my opinion, they're very comparable. There's not, I don't prefer one over the other. The only reason I am using the Zig on this card is the um, Arteza ones don't have as fine a uh, tip as the, the Zigs do. And on a stamp like this, you really need this fine tip to get into these really intricate like leaves and stuff. Okay. So we've done that, and now we're gonna start with our flowers. So the main flower, the focal point, we're gonna do in purple. 
So same process again. We're going to start with our lightest color, and this is going to be lilac. 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 And I'm going to end up coloring the entire flower. So just pay attention to where your leaves are. It can get kind of... I don't know what flower this is. Hmm. What flower do you think this is in the middle? Is it a daisy? Mm, let me see. Could it, be, it could be uh, almost like a... What do you call those yellow flowers we always plant up front? Um, Daisies? No, no, no. Marigolds? Marigolds. It almost looks like a marigold. This does it's hard not to look like a marigold. Well, they have lots of leaves like It almost that. looks like a dahlia. Yeah, maybe. It could be a dahlia. Oh, um, Lisa Townsend from YouTube says, uh, I just went to our Central Ohio Expo. Stephanie was there. Stephanie. Always a smile on her face. Why do I know her? I know her name, but I don't know what she does. Is she a graphic artist designer? Does she do stamps? Does she do paper? I know the name, Stephanie Bernard. I think it's because she's in the Silhouette Store, maybe. I think that's why. Or maybe I just, maybe I did meet her at Creativation. Mm. Looks like a Gerber Daisy. Yes, yeah, see, Gerber Daisy. That's what I think it All is. Right. Okay, so there's my lightest color down. We're going to now jump over to the darkest color, which is violet. And we're just going to hit the outermost petals. And you can take a lot of time doing this, or you can just kind of do this, where I do kind of this big circle around it. Um, but you can actually go to each petal and, you know... Oh, she's she works with Sizzix. That's right. Her and Lori uh, Whitlock. Ah, oh, Miss Lori. Yes, yes, yes. That's why. Because when I go Love visit Lori. Lori, all of her stuff is next to Lori's. Yep. Love Lori. She's great. Okay. So we've added these colors. We are now going to grab the medium color. This is light violet. And we're just going to pick up a little bit of the dark violet and bring it up into the card of where this lighter spot is. So we're just doing this. And the reason I have this cardstock is I'm going to clean off the tip of my brush. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing that is if we don't do that, you're going to get the tip flooded with the dark purple and you're not going to get that nice gradual color incline. So they think it's a zinnia. Flower. Ooh, it could be. Yep. I do not know what it, I don't know what that is. I should look. Sean doesn't plant our flowers. I do. Well, I help. You help. But when I, I go, when I go, too. when I go pick out flowers, usually it's this. Sean, I really like this. Uh-huh. I think I'm going to get this. Uh-huh. What do you think about this? Looks good. See, now me, I love dahlias, and I know what dahlias are. I love them. We never plant them, but I love them. We don't. They're so pretty. My He likes the the dinner plate dahlias, yeah, which my, are huge, yeah. and they require a lot of work. That big. And they require, They're, can we oh, say that? Let's say. They require work, and they need and, to have special things to keep them from And how over. often does Sean work on plants? Not very often. Exactly. The that's truth why, comes out, that's everyone. That's why I'd rather do the small ones. All right, guys. We're going to finish with the See you later, lilac. And this one, you are going to grab some color from deep down in and bring it out. You're going to fill it. Because right, you could leave it like this. If you're someone who likes the harsh lines. There are people that like a harsh color line. I do not. But if you like a harsh line, you're good. If not, you're just going to bring that color all the way into the petals. Um, oh, Stephanie also is also on HSN, I guess. Oh, that could be also where. Yeah. That's Ken's dream, HSN, baby. Yeah. It'll probably never happen, but you know what? If we don't have dreams, are we really living dangerously, Sean? Mm, yeah. You guys need to understand something. Sean does a wonderful job on monitoring comments and doing transitions and zooming in, but it's at a cost. And that cost is I don't have to pay attention to Ken. So sometimes I'll ask him questions, and if you're lucky enough, He'll try to recover by going, oh, yeah, uh-huh. But then if I say, Sean, what did I just say? He'll say, um, you got me. Okay, sorry. I'm paying attention now. Yeah. My favorite is when he falls asleep at 8.30, and I sit there, and he's snoring, and I knock him because sometimes, I'm not kidding, guys, he snores so loud that I can't hear. And combined with the dog snoring, because usually by that point, Toby is snoring and Han snoring. Riley's usually playing. But, um... I'll say, Sean, you're snoring. And you know I know what he says? Not, oh, I'm sorry, or this. He says, that's weird. I can't even hear it. And I'm like, Sean, you are sleeping. That's why you can't hear it. Okay, so there we go. Keep in mind, guys, this is out of stock. Sorry. This is out so of stock. So you have to be alerted. I didn't know it when I made it. So that's what it looks like kind of blended versus those harsh lines. Okay, so purple is done. We are now going to grab the blues. Mm -hmm. Same process, so I won't bore you again with the details. 
Um, I mean, I can if you want, but um, Shrog can answer questions. Yep. The most important thing is to have some sort, it doesn't have to be the Bristol because it's kind of expensive, but you want some sort of cardstock to clean the brush off because you really need to clean the brush so you don't get too much of that color flooded in. Hello, Corey. Hi, Corey. Snoring in stereo. Yes, you're so sure. Uh, Marlene, I believe there are 80 in this set of pens. I bought the 80 set. 80 set. Um, Arteza, I want to say, is 96. Now, the one thing I love about the Arteza, and Sean can grab them, mm -hmm. um, they're on the top shelf of the middle cabinet off to the left. Um, they come in a case, which is really nice. Uh, so I do love that. And they are a much friendlier price. Unfortunately, the um, Zigs are a little bit more expensive. Like I said, they're pretty comparable. I, I've done stuff with both. The only thing I don't like Almost about Artis and I gave them that feedback is I wish their tips were a little bit more fine-tuned like these are. They have a bigger tip, so on a more detailed stamp as this, um, sometimes you're, you'll color outside the lines, which is fine, but I like on a detailed stamp to have a little bit more control. Yes, believe it or not, that is one thing Kenny always talks about. He what? would love to be on HSS. That's my dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. I only, even if it's just one time, I don't even have to be a recurring guest or and then uh, Anna Griffin. Cameron says we should both be on it. <laughs> like Anna Griffin is like the queen of HSN crafts. Yeah. And so is Beth Kingston. She's oh, on it all the time. Beth is great. And so is, um, oh my gosh, Jennifer from... Um, oh, yeah, Jennifer. She does all of like the Gemini and stuff like that uh, when who? Sarah Davis isn't around. Uh, what's her what's uh, face? Um, African-American gal. I always forget her first name. Oh, Amber. Amber. Damask Amber. Love. Yeah. Yeah, She's yeah. on there too. She does the We Are Memory Keepers and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're all great at their jobs too, guys. Yeah. So for those who have seen it, know it, look, oh, these are all loose. Okay, so I've done my darkest color. And then this color is cobalt blue. And we are going to pick up our dark color and just bring it out a little bit into the center. We're not going to go fully into that dark because we don't want to saturate that dark to where it loses its luster. Do you know who taught me how to color like this? I, um... Uh, you were there. I know. I don't remember her name, though. Jennifer. Oh, did the same girl, yeah, yeah from um, Gemini. So here, here I'm going to zoom out just a little bit for a second. So here's the Arteza, and I believe it's the 96, like you're saying. Yep, in the in this, case. In the, in the case, and this all comes apart too. I'm not going to do that because it makes a mess. Someone got it, my first set in the mystery box when I Ooh. do mystery boxes because and I wanted the case. We got some of these as well. All right, guys, I'm finishing with the lighter color, and we're going to pick up that medium color and just bring it back out to the tips to blend out the rest of that. Now, once again, you do not have to do this if you like the harsh lines. Um, I, I prefer to have it like this. Now, you can do the same process on um, alcohol markers. I just, you guys, I want to love alcohol markers. I really do. Maybe I need to take classes. I know Copics does classes. Maybe that's what I need to do is Copic classes. Because I love the look of an alcohol marker. I just can't master them. And I've tried. I've tried all the paper they told me. I've bought fancy paper. I've tried different markers. I've tried Copics. I've tried the Chameleons. I've tried, um, I forget the name of them, but they were uh, Winston and Newton or something. Um, I tried um, the... Tone, I don't know, close to my heart had them. They were called mm. Zig Tone or Tone, I don't know. Yeah. I just don't, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I need to take a class, obviously. Karen from you from YouTube says, I got my Zigs on Black Friday at Amazon. Nice. Oh, yeah, they always discount them yeah. big time. Cricket, right. Cricket needs you to have us to be on HSN or QVC. Well, that's kind of what Beth Kingston does. Oh. Yeah, that's her job. <laughs> well, there went my cap. Uh oh. Um, Sean, you're going to have to find that because I think it went Cor under there. Corey says take classes. Yeah, I need to. I need it. to take classes. I know. Can we find one in town? <laughs> yeah. I don't think um, Fun Stampers ever had any alcohol markers, but if they did, I didn't use them because I probably saw alcohol and said, no, thank you. Okay. Now we're using this. This is fluorescent yellow, you guys. I know at first you're going to be like, holy moly, Ken, those are bright. They'll get toned down once we blend them with the darker yellows, uh, but it balances out those blues and purples. 
And even Melody says you'd be great on HSN. Oh, no. I would love to be on HSN. It is a dream, even a one-time deal. Um, my for I love doing projects like this. I love doing Chalk Couture, but I... And I'm not trying to be inappropriate, but I seriously do get off on doing product reviews. I love them. Mm -hmm. Like, I get so excited when I hear a new product's coming out or and stuff. It's just like, ugh, I get so excited. Fatima says, take online classes with Kit and Chowder. Ooh, you know what? When you said that, it made me think of the song Take On Me, and now it's going to be stuck in my head. Oh. Take on me. It's interesting, interesting, too, when we go to... Disneyland, and we see some of the artists come out and do their thing. They're using Copics when they're doing their yep. coloring. It's their number one, mm. though, too. Okay, so I added the dark yellow. I know it's hard to see, guys, because this is so... Um, it's just very detailed. But basically, all I'm doing is toning down that bright yellow, but still having the nice bright yellow on the tips. In person, it looks beautiful. You might not see it on screen. Okay, there we go. Coloring is done. Are you going to do a mystery box again? Um, I do mystery boxes once a year right before Christmas. There you go. And um, it's usually stuff... I'm going to get in trouble here, so I have to be careful. But it's usually stuff that I buy that Sean says, don't buy, you're never going to use it. But I still say, whatever, Sean. <laughs> and I buy it, and I never use it. I.e., we bought the entire um, color pour system from American Crafts, and we've yet to open it. We're just so busy. So there we go. So busy. Cute. Cuteness. All right. So pink and main. Pink and main. And unfortunately, this one is the one that's out of stock. But you can be alerted so, yeah. for when it comes in and back in stock. it's called the Sweet Boutiques. Yes. All right, guys. So we are going to grab. Oh, bouquets. Sorry. Sweet bouquets. Not boutiques. Bouquets. 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 So this is the magical um, die set. Now, this does have a coordinating stamp that has magical. So you can match. Or you can do what I'm going to do. And it has these little sentiments like, hope your day is magical. It's a magical, you make life, greetings, you are, so you can mix and match. So we're first going to start out with the offset, which is this. I love word die offsets. Like, they're my jam. I love them. If you ever watch um, Jennifer something, what's her name? The one everyone loves, Jennifer McGuire. McGuire. If you watch her, she uses a lot of dies like this with the, the words and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love them. Karen said she got some great stamps from you on your <gasps> thing. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're running this through my new favorite machine. And I'm not just saying that because I love uh, Miss Griffin. Um, I am truly obsessed with it. It does a great job and it's compact. What? Um, tell, I'm kind of shaking my head to uh, Deborah. No, you do not want to see me color. <laughs> He's colored once before. Once and it was Sean has made one card on his own by himself for a coworker. I forget. I think she was moving or something. something. And um, yeah. I posted it on my blog and took credit for it. Um, <laughs> it was horrible. But um, the only other card he did is we used to do Make It Monday live. Mm -hmm. And I was super sick. And Sean, I literally made a card and said, all you need to do is follow this. And he was so nervous through that whole thing. We are going to cut the word out in magical. Magic. Mo Moments. Okay, that's all you can see. Oh. Run. Run. That was kind of nice thing about one you Listen how quiet that is. It is quiet. What? That they have an eye or they have a sensor where you I am still doing stuff with Stamp Plastic. That's going to be another video this week, probably Friday. Um, so, as many of you know, I was at Chalk Tour Leadership, and then we were at Cancun, and then we got back, and then we went somewhere else, and then I got surgery, and so it's just been crazy. Crazy. And in addition to all of this, um, you know, my Chalk Tour business has definitely grown in leaps and bounds, but unlike doing, like, projects like my cards and stuff, can you tell me when I'm not in frame? Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Instead of that, it is more involved because you have people with questions. We're going to move the camera, so if you get motion sickness. There we go. No, that's weird. That's stuck in the other leather. Hey, Tamara. Okay, so we have magical all cut out. 
So we're going to put this back in its little package. Um, is the black mat, is this one out yet or yes. available? It's yes. on yes. Anna Griffin's store. Yes. It might even be on each set. I don't know. Yeah. They sent it to me. It's a really nice one too. It's a really yeah. nice one. It's better than the other one. It's thicker and doesn't, it doesn't, um, warp. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. oh, next up is, what did you do with my, you keep moving all my stuff, Shawnee. Shawnee McCoy. Hmm. Since I'm working, can we revive Make It Monday? Um, possibly. It's possibly. We have to do a whole, what did you do with this stamp that was here? It's right there. Oh. <laughs> I just put it away. Okay, that needs to go back in this pocket. We're done with that one. Okay. Right there. Um, I'm gonna do, the last one I did, Hope Your Day is Magical. And this one. Could be something different. You make life magical. I like that. Oh, um, this is broken. It happened, Sean. It's okay, Shawnee. Shawnee, it's all good. It's all good, Mr. Sean. Are you okay? Um, so, uh, Sean has to see with his boss if he can do Make It Monday. So, when Sean starts on Tuesday, we're having a staff meeting. And we'll, we'll check with his boss and see what she says. Yeah, because Jazzy will be my boss. Yes. I cannot be Sean's boss because we might hurt each other. <laughs> Why can't I get this to you in there? Okay, so we're just going to stamp. You could do this with black ink. I am going a little aggressive by doing this with embossing ink and powders, but um, it's just my jam. It's what I do. It's what I live for. I would admit that in the past I was a nasty. Sean, yes. they weren't kidding when they called me Willow Witch. Willow Witch. Do you know what that's from? Probably. Don't let me down, Sean. This is Disney trivia. This, Don't let me down. I'm trying to think of uh, the girls, all three girl witches. Oh my no, gosh, say it I again. can't. Say it you. again. I can't now. I need to know because so I, I didn't hear it very well. They weren't kidding when they called me Willow Witch, but now you will see. I changed my ways. Was what? that on? Is that, um... I don't like that. I'm not sure. I squished it too much. So that's what I was talking about, guys, on photopolymer. See how I squished the photopolymer and... I'll heat it and see what it looks like, but when you heat it, it's from Little Mermaid. Um, that was my guess. Okay. What do by, you mean by, that was uh, your guess? Ur Ursula's saying that, right? Yes. Yeah. It's when she is going down to the cave to meet Ursula, and Ursula's basically saying... I'm not that bad. Okay, she's mended her ways. See how it kind of all... Squished. Squishy yeah, squished. So Squish. you don't want to push as hard because that's where you get that squishy squish. Mm -hmm. And if you call me squishy, you and I will have issues, Sean. I don't call you that. I know, but I'm just telling you. Hey, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Do not call me squishy. Just do a couple spots and then not perfect. All right. I can't believe you didn't know that song. Well, the it's, boss not, it's is not like I listen to it every day. For this poor, it's a more fortunate soul. Don't sing it; you're in control. I know, but it's just such a good it's, song. You're supposed to be able to have six seconds worth, so I don't. Know I think what. it's thirty seconds actually. No, I don't think it's thirty at all. I think it's six. <laughs> You're so funny. I don't think it's 30 seconds at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot to use my embossing buddy. I was so interested in my song <laughs> that I forgot to use my embossing buddy. So, no problem. Just grab a paintbrush and flick it away. I can't believe. See, this is why embossing buddies or static or talc powder, I think it's talc powder they use, mm -hmm. um, make all the difference because it will stick. I remember when I first started with embossing powders, this is when I had my Cricut Imagine, I think, and everyone's saying, oh, you should do embossing powders. And of course, back then, I probably didn't 
look to YouTube. And I remember doing my first embossing project and I was like, this stuff sucks because it would flake everywhere. And I hated it. Are we still alive? I haven't seen a, oh. a thing go by for a while. They're so transcend into what is happening, Sean. Yes. Or we're not live anymore. Because on this, I don't know if once you're done, you're done. You can't continue chatting or not. So? How do we find out? You ask people, are we live? Are we live? Can you see us? If not, you can open up um, a YouTube page and see if we're live. One moment. still alive we're stuck are we stuck yep so i'll stop for a sec here we'll hit yeah refresh you are alive still live okay it's just that when usually everybody talks quite a bit all of a sudden well this is might be stuck so just quit sorry guys sorry our chat just seemed to stop working this is all new for us and then it should launch. And waiting for the next one. All right, there you go. Let's hope. Okay, let's hope. Fingers crossed. So what we're gonna do on this, I just embossed that. Sorry for that little snazu. There we go. These are our stitch dies, or not ours, but Pink and Main stitch dies. We're gonna be using two sizes. We're gonna use the itty bitty one. And then the, I think this size I want to do. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to just center this as best as possible. All right. Like so. Feels like Whoville. We are here. We are here. <laughs> Thanks, Bull. Da who do re da who do re. Welcome, welcome, Christmas. Cheer. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because you're funny. Oh, okay. Send it through the impress. This is zoning out. Who's zoning out? That's what everybody was doing. Everybody was zoning out. See, yeah, they were all... I'm magical, Sean. I don't know if you know this. Leather, I mean... uh, leather. Heather. Sorry, Heather. Leather. <laughs> Heather on YouTube says, how long have you been making cards? Since... Well, well... My... <laughs> in the very beginning, I don't know if they would be cards because it looks like a two-year-old made them. But um, probably since 2012-ish. 12. Okay, if you have a little mistake like I do, um, I didn't have the best embossing powder here. I use these pens. These are the, I'll show you what they are. And they match black embossing ink or powder perfectly. It's a home run. So you, if you missed a spot, you can fill it in. They are the Uniball Signo. Yeah, those, I love them. These pens are uh, amazing. Yes, they are. All right, so we are also going to run this through. This is our background, and this is the reason why we did it first is because we needed it to dry. Because if you run um, this through the impress while it's wet, all of your cutie patootie little um, sparkle silk will smush down, and it will be super sad. So there's tons of different silks from Fun Stamper's Journey. Uh, this is just their sparkle silk, and I'm obsessed with it. I buy it in jars at the time. Lauren, Lauren says, I need to move to the U.S. So just so I can shop on US, on HSN. Oh, did they not have HSN in Wherever, Australia? Or, where, or is, is UK? Where? I know UK has something else. I think they have, like, Create and Craft. Yeah. I think. Where, where are you from, Lauren? Lauren B. Okay, so we're gonna actually keep both of these. We're not going to, because I only, I should have used the embossing mat and then I wouldn't have to glue it, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, we are done with this guy. So we're gonna put him off to, or her, or him, her, he, she, however she identifies in today's world, which I should know that being our lifestyle, but I still get confused. So now mm. I just ask people, how would you like me to refer to you? Because my niece, I don't know if, I mean, I don't think she cares as pansexual, and I'm still trying to figure out what that means. I know what it means. I just don't know what it wow. means. Wow. So Diana P. says from Facebook, I actually have you live on TV, better color. 
you on YouTube and live on iPhone with the sound because someone here is sleeping. Oh, oh Lauren, my gosh. It's kind of like I'm on each of uh, Lauren's scene. in BC. Hey, what happened to this BC scene? Canada. Oh, okay. So. All right, guys. We are ready to build our card. Good old Canada. Can't okay. Wait. Can't wait for you guys to join us and... Join yeah, us? Where are they joining us? Join us in the world of... Uh, oh, Chalk Tour. Chalk Tour. It's launching soon. Yeah, launching Here, soon. Here, you're in charge of this. Have you done this? Have I done what? Don't um, forget. Okay. All right, everyone. So now let's build our card. So we are going to start with our black base. So... Use whatever adhesive is your favorite. My favorite right now is Gina K, but it's so much my favorite that I've ran out of a refills. So my next favorite right now that I use is the Sticky Thumb, which is from American Crafts. And then, like I said, these cards I just get from um, Michael's when they have their, their bonus buys. Make sure you guys are commenting. Marilyn Monroe is here. No, it's Marilyn Moore. Oh. It's close. It was close. I was all excited close. that she came back from the dead. Yes. Just to see a Ken's Creations creation. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're now going to put a sticky thumb on this. And I'm not moving it anyway because I do want... I wanted the imprinting in the middle like this. And they should have used the Impress's embossing mat. And then it would have just embossed, but... I was obsessed with seeing Little Mermaid songs in my head, and these things happen. Well, I know a little bit of magic. Okay, so remember, we use that fancy dancy spellbinder fun stamper journey um, cutter, so we have a nice little offset. I love that cutter. I've told other companies they need to copy that. I know it's not nice. We don't need to copy, but. So it's very minor detail, but I love it. Uh-oh, I did it upside down, but that's okay. No one will ever know. Well, I do. Actually, I don't like it. So we, that's okay. That's what's nice is I have a ton of these cards. Did you get the dot to the eye out of the cardstock? What? I don't need it. Don't need but it. Good catch. Nice catch. I was going to see if anyone was going to catch that. I don't need it, and I'll show you why here in a sec. That was uh, Georgia. Okay, guys. So, oopsie doodly. I wanted my yellow to be towards the top um, because if not, the flowers don't pop as much because the flowers would be on the blue background. It doesn't pop as much. Uh, that's probably why. What? What you were just talking about. That's probably why. Oh. What's well, probably why? What are you talking about? What well, is happening? Why were seeing people asking the why they didn't like it? <laughs> Fatima says, seeing you on the big screen makes you a celebrity. Okay. So, oh, that's sweet. Okay. So here we have our cards. Oh. The next thing we are going to do is run magical. Oh, wait. No, we're not. I lied. Where's my... So, I want the magical. I don't know if you guys can see it in this card, but the magical's got some of that sparkle. So, mm -hmm. let me see if I can. It's hard to see. Yeah, because it's white. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to use the sparkle silk. I'm going to use something else. So, yeah. never mind. So, our, our great friend Monique, Leslie, she says, Today is a fan fantastic day at Michael's. There is a 50% off coupon, lowest prices of the season sale, plus 20 off dollar. Purchase of fifty dollars oh, or more. We might have to go there. And they have a free bright pad with purchase of a cricket. And they just got the we are we are spinning machine for epoxy cups. Oh, I, I need that. that. Monique, I thought they were get, having that come out until October. Well, then they lied. They I lied need to that us because I've never <laughs> made the epoxy cups because mm. I didn't want to build have, a home we have, machine. We have all our friends making them. Yeah, um, but. <laughs> I do love a sale, and we have to go to Home Depot because I bought a machine that I'm super excited about, but I need to go find a uh, exhaust for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just ran that through the Xyron sticker maker, which is obviously a sticker maker, guys, but I love it because it does a perfect layer of 
adhesive on the back. Now sometimes on some of these designs that are kind of curly cuesies, we're going to There we go. So I'm just getting all of that adhesive out of there. You can use art glitter glue. I do have some of that, um, but I'm pretty heavy handed. And when I use art glitter glue, I tend to use too much and it smooshes out the side. So that's why I'm a fan of this. Look at that. All right, so we have that piece done. Now we can build our card, Shawnee. Renee. What you doing in Hawaii? Mm. Ooh, we're going to Hawaii. We're going to Hawaii soon. For work. <laughs> oh. She says, oh my God, we need a Michaels in Hawaii. <laughs> what? She says, we need a Michaels in Hawaii. You That's... guys don't have a Michaels in Hawaii? Uh -uh. <gasps> How Ren do you even survive? That was Renee. All right, guys, so now we are going to take twine. Did so damage with Michaels coupon today. So the twine, we're going to leave a little piece uh loose. off oh, loose okay. and then we're just going to wrap it around three fingers however many times you want um this twine is from fun stampers journey 2 it's also on the website now you can go on their website and get it um and the reason i like this twine is it is wax coated so it makes it really nice to form it and we're just going to pinch it in the middle cut off another piece of twine we're just going to tie a knot around that. Yay. Mm. And then we'll do it another time just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Safety first. Um, Monique also says she doesn't see any restrictions on the coupon. Okay, right. Monique, if I <laughs> go in there and they restrict me, I'm going to say, you need to call Monique at store, blah, 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 store blah. Store so-and-so, yeah. And then I'm gonna make them call you. Uh, yes, Arlene, we will be there. Both of us will be there. Where? In Puyallup. Puyallup. So people can stop saying, hi, Ken, no, nice to there meet you. Where's there Sean? There should be a Y in Puyallup. Where's Sean? Should be Pulley Up. Pulley Up. Pulley Up. P U L L Y. All right. So we have this. So let's go ahead and add our flowers. So these are from Gina K. Um, I'm too stupid to use the package and I tore it off and I guess it was a thing. Uh, but what I love about these and Sean can show you is when you use black foam squares on a card, so they're good. not as noticeable as white foam squares. So Sean can show you what I'm talking about. Sean can show you what I'm talking about. What am I, what am I showing though? Oh, the, See, told oh. you guys, he doesn't pay attention to me at I all. I thought I was going to do to he this one. He tones me out. No, I heard you, but I thought you meant mm -hmm. this now, one. Now he's arguing, saying, no, I didn't do that. And you can't even see him. Um, they're so, they're so... Do you have my pokey tool? Because you like to take all my stuff. You can just barely see it there. This one is almost too shallow to see him, but... Hey. They're... They're black in there. This is actually a um, royal icing pick from Sweet Sugar Bells. Sweet Sugar Bells. And I am obsessed with it. I use mm. it to take my po my foam things off, but I also use it in Chalk Couture to flake off like... And every time Michaels has a coupon like that, I spend like $300. Yikes. It's bad. Okay. So we're gonna put the flowers up in this corner, just like so. Let's do it right about there. And now we're going to add this. Now the way you have to do this because it's gonna overlay the flowers is you have to add two foam squares off to the side and one foam square in the middle. And if you want it to be even raised up more, you can add even more, but that's how I you roll. That's how I roll. Renee, we're gonna be there. Um, Oahu. We're gonna spend. Did we meet Renee last year? We met you before, didn't we, Renee? Yeah, she came and didn't she come and see us at so. the airport? I think so. I think that was her. It's been so long. I know. <laughs> um, so many people. It's so hard to remember who's who. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll be in Oahu. We're gonna be at uh, Alani just for uh, a day and a half, basically, and then. 
Waikiki. Because that's where for, Silhouette That's where Silhouette to, puts us. That's where they host it. Okay, so to keep the, um, mm. the twine from not moving, I just take a glue dot. These are also from Thermal Web. And I'm gonna put the glue dot kind of in the center where the, the flower's bunched up. So you can see it right there, there's that glue dot. And we can then put our little twine right there on the glue dot. We're going to turn it a little bit, and then these guys will go and kind of hide that. No, it was not Renee who we met. Who did we meet in Hawaii? Somebody. It's a Hawaiian name, so that's why I'm, I'm drawing a yeah. blank on it. Okay, so just like that. You make life. And then Magical will go here. I do want to use foam squares to prop this up as well. Have you made a card? Out of out of imagining from DS with your maker. And uh, what? Have you done any card making from your design space on your maker? Yeah, we have. It's been a while, but you have. All right. So to the question earlier, can you forgot? So on little dots like that, they're kind of a pain. So I just use my Uniball. This is like what our black was, but this is in white. And this way I don't have to worry about little tiny pieces and it works great. I'm just trying to get it started here on a piece of block that I have. And you're shaking the camera. And oh, I'm sorry guys. And then I can just add that and it works. I mean, you wouldn't even tell that that's not, that's not the actual paper. It's all right. And then the last thing, uh, I really like the Magical to have that shine. And the other one, you can see it in person, but not as bright as I wanted it. This is Nubal Glitter Drops. Yeah, it's like really now, glitter to see. I have also Ranger's um, Stickles. The reason I love the Nuvos is they have a fine tip on their... their um, um, stuff so it's a it, it doesn't sometimes i love stickles but two things that i get frustrated is stickles is has a little bit more of a wider tip and it does what i call the stickles fart where out of nowhere an air bubble comes and it goes and then you have stickles all over your project yeah which you can fix but it is frustrating so we'll just add some glitter to make this card really shine out. Oh, thank you, Renee. She will be on the same island. I'll get a goodie basket ready for you when you take it home with you. Oh, thank you. That's so yay. nice of you. Yeah, so we'll be over by uh, Alani Monday, Tuesday. Yes. And then uh, Waikiki at the Sheraton uh, yes. the rest of the week. Okay. I'm going to add another foam square because this keeps... And, of course, then the... Uh... <laughs> Airport on the way in and way out. Popping up. So let's add two more foam squares to those small to calm it down because it's throwing these little fits on me. And I say, enough is enough. We don't need this car throwing a fit no more. Dun, dun, dun. You guys didn't know it'd almost be like a concert. Concert. Oh, so much better. Yeah, that looks better. Yes. Oh, well, thank you, Sean, for your approval. I've been waiting my entire life for that. I know you have. Oh, you're so rude. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> See, you guys, everyone says, Sean's so nice, and then he does stuff like that. All right. We're done. Oh, no, we're not done. <laughs> what did you do? What did you get? Mm. Oh. I tell you, some days, Sean. Some days. Someday. True, <laughs> true about the stickles, yeah. We dream no battle. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. All right. So these are the glossy dots. Glossy dots. And they work up perfect for the center of our flowers. Sorry. So we have this right here. We're going to use the big glossy dot right there. Same color? Gold. Yellow. Where do they call it? Um... Yeah, these are, I think these are gold.
All right, now we're done. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Sean. Nice. Can you maybe get it a little better oh, on your here. screen? He's not paying attention, guys. Sorry. I'm looking at your thing here. Oh, there's always an excuse. Yeah. Always the last word. Yep. Got a little, little stuff on my finger. That's okay. I'm telling you guys, us working together might be the end of us. No, I'm just saying. It won't. Because he likes to get the last word in and always. Oh, that's not my fault. Oh, the joys of being in a relationship, huh? Mm -hmm. So, which one do you like better, Sean? I Let's like... Go. I like these flowers better. I do, too. And yet, this, the, uh, the Nouveau looks a lot better on this. You can see it much better. Well, we can add it to that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do that. So, these are... Definitely check out... Um, Sowarski crystals will look really oh, great on that. They're really. so expensive. So expensive, though, but yeah, they would. Okay, guys, so um, last time I did a card project, I wanted to give it away, and we asked a question, and there was a little bit of a fight in the comments, and I had to cool everyone down. So I, I have asked Sean at the beginning to randomly pick people that have been commenting, two mm -hmm. people, so hopefully they're still here. Yep. They can pass on the I card if they... Is, I know one is for sure, but I'm not sure about the other one. Yep, and this way we can also keep track of who's got cards, so that way we kind of make it even and fair. Yep. Um, and, uh, if you don't want the card, that's fine. I can move it on to the next person, mm -hmm. but this way we can sign it or whatever mm -hmm. and all that good jazz. So, um, so I used a, a thing to randomly pick random.org uh, random and amazingly one, um, that we know, well, well, we know everybody pretty well, but, um, I've never seen her win something. So as I'm kind of glad that she got something. Who is it? Fatima. Fatima won one. Fatima won one. And our second person, I haven't seen her uh, do anything since, but I think uh, uh, Abra or Abra Williams, are you still in the room? You get the other one. You get the other one. If if you're not in the room, we'll uh, try to find another way to just yeah. pick another one. Yeah. Man, you can barely even see that. The It, it is hard with, yeah, this, with this with lighting the and stuff. But by, the mat, by your eye, you can. Yes. By your eye. By the naked <laughs> eye, you can see it. The eye. That reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> what is that called? The Handmaiden's Tale. Mm -hmm. All right, Sean, you can mm -hmm. go. So is Abra, A-B-R-A, Williams. Are you still in the room? Yay, nay. If not, we'll flip it through the thing again. We do not make cards every Wednesday. We just, he was flipping through some stuff and saw this stuff and thought it would be kind of fun. Hi, little miss. So she now knows how to use this. Ross, come here. She? Show everyone your new trick. Come here. Go up. Up. Mm. Nope. You got to use this. Remember like we did yesterday. Up. Come, come here. Ross, up. up. On the top one. Good girl. Come on. You have to go in the front camera so everyone can see. Oh. We have a step stool and she always likes to get up on the table, but I don't want her. So now she uses this step stool. Here, I'll go adjust the camera down. You keep her right here. She'll want to follow me. Ross, come here. Come here, Ross. Come see daddy, Sean. Have her go up on the stairs. Where else? Come here. Oh, no. No, that's not where I want you. Come here. Okay, yeah, let me adjust the camera because it's so cute when she uses the stairs. Come here. Up, up, up here. Up. Come on. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Up. Yeah. Here, she'll do it for me. Riles, come on. Up. Good girl. Come on, all the way. Look at everyone. You're saying hi to you. Say hi to everyone. Look at you. She's a happy girl now. Mm -hmm. You the happy girl? Oh, cutie. Okay, get down. So that's her newest little trick. All right, Sean. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's thing. And our heads are cut off. Just sec. Oh, yeah. She cut her heads off. <laughs> there we go. All so right. let us know the two winners just reach out to me and I will send it to you guys in the mail. Yep. The other one has not said anything. So I'm not even sure she's still in the room. I might have to do another one. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up, Cletus. Cletus, hold up. Cletus, hold up. Well, since Fatima was the first one, Fatima, which one do you want? Do you want the one I made tonight? Or do you want the one I made earlier today? 
And there it is. Lauren, but I think this will be F1 because I think Lauren's in uh, Canada, but I think that might be all right. That's fine. Yeah. I can send this stuff to Canada. Yeah, Lauren. Lauren, Lauren uh, Breckelman's. Well, she Are did have a lot more comments, so that's probably why I ran them up. She yeah. gave her a little bit more of a upsling yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, thank you guys. Yeah. So definitely um, go show some love to Pink and Main. They are awesome. Uh, we hope you guys are enjoying the double stream to Facebook and YouTube. It's working out good and we really like it. We will be back tomorrow for viewer mail and possibly be looking in the day for a Ken from the car. Mm -hmm. Friday, we will be back to do another card project. And then of course, don't forget, Saturday we won't be active, but Sunday is our main chalking day where we'll be doing auction, raising money for what's love. And yes, Sean will be chalking. I've gotten that question so much. Is Sean gonna chalk? So the stuff we actually uh, chalk live, um, we will also be auctioning off. So we have a goal of $10,000 that we wanna raise. So if you guys, as a crew, raise five thousand, we're meeting that with the other five thousand, and we can donate ten thousand. Oh, Lauren does have a U.S. mailing address. Great. There you go. So reach out to me on Facebook, and I will get that for you guys. Yes, you and um, Fatima. And yeah. yeah. Congratulations. So thank you guys so much for joining today's live. Thank you for using the links down below. Like I said, that does support uh, our channel, which is great. With Sean joining the team here. And don't forget, we have those coupon codes. So if you want to yep. save a little penny, thank you so much to my business partners for um, giving those codes to you guys. The codes all benefit you guys. Using the links benefit us. So we get that mm -hmm. question too all yeah, the time. So, and last but not least, uh, my credit code did update. Just so you guys know, it is KKC10. Why Ken's the Creations Cricket 10. Because ah. we have to change the code every three months now. So oh, I see. Gotcha. There you so, go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye. I think I can go by. I don't know. Hold on. Like that.